The Boost is an important part of the program because it allows us to give a focused dose of energy to the site where the cancer started, which is the greatest risk for recurrence. So by raising the dose to this site, we're gonna increase the chance that you'll never have a recurrence of breast cancer and will still have your breast 10 years after treatment. Well, the traditional way of delivering a boost to the lumpectomy site as part of breast conservation therapy has been electron beam. And in the past, that's been set clinically by feel and hasn't been as precise as we would like it. And it's angled straight towards the lung and on the left side is angled directly towards the heart. A lot of radiation oncologists will uh, prescribe electrons and not realize that some of the beam exits right into the lung or the exits right into the heart. The AccuBoost, since it's parallel to the chest wall, angled away from the lung and the heart, will deliver much less lung and heart dose than a traditional electron beam. In the past, we focused just on survival as oncologists. And today, we're focusing more and more on quality of life for the women we treat. We've come a long way. Survival rates have increased, and the rate of breast conservation has dramatically increased over the last 10 or 15 years. So I think that these new technologies, such as AccuBoost, will allow the woman to have the best looking breast, the best quality of life, while maintaining that survival rate that has improved over the last decade. The implementation of the AccuBoost uh, in our institution was pretty straightforward. Um, you basically, if you have an HDR unit, you just need to get your mammography unit, which will be provided to you by the manufacturer, and the CR for imaging purpose. Um, as far as the registration for state regulation, you need to register your uh, mammography unit because it's an X-ray too. Other than that, the whole process is pretty straightforward and we actually managed to do this in about a day, day and a half, we were pretty much done for the whole process.
reduced following whole breast radiation is really an important part of the treatment program for women undergoing breast conservation. Uh, studies that came out of Europe showed that women were, that were treated with just whole breast radiation, five weeks of radiation, seemed to have a somewhat higher risk of recurrence than those women who had the boost added on after whole breast radiation. And we've argued in this country how best to do it, but I think the data has been pretty convincing, especially now with 20-year follow-up in those studies, that the boost is an important part of um, optimizing local control for breast cancer. I think the future of AccuBoost and really breast cancer care is one of evolution. And if we look back into the early 70s when we started doing breast conservation, I mean, we started treating whole breast radiation, copying the surgeons doing a mastectomy. Harvard was one of the centers that developed the technique, and we've just continued doing that because it was working pretty well. We knew that there was minor risks of complications, but it was good enough until about five to ten years ago when we started looking at how we were, the idea behind partial breast radiation really started us thinking how can we improve what we're doing with breast cancer care and that's when we've seen application of new technology and I think AccuBoost is an outgrowth of that interest it's allowing us the optimal way of imaging the breast which is mammography to now allow image guidance for treatment and that really has significantly improved our ability to target and to really minimize the amount of normal tissue we're treating so we can optimize the treatment of breast cancer while minimizing the toxicity of therapy and that really is where we've been moving with all of oncology care but particularly breast cancer care. like AccuBoost because it gives them peace of mind. They're able to see the images, they're able to see the tumor bed, they can see exactly what applicator I'm using and what it's covering and they know they, their tumor bed, they know where, the, where it needs to be targeted is what's being targeted. AccuBoost is unique for two reasons. Um, one is image guidance, meaning before each treatment we are able to image the breast and we know we're either targeting um, the tumor bed, we can see the changes, we can see the seroma, or we can see the clips. Um, either way, we can identify the tumor bed before each treatment. Um, the other reason AccuBoost is very unique is immobilization. That's another thing we strive for. And generally, we're talking immobilization in terms of patient, in this case, especially in women who have pendulous breasts, which happen to be most of our breast cancer patients. Um, the breast can be moving during the treatment on a linear accelerator with the machine moving around them. And so in this, uh, with the AccuBoost, when the breast is compressed um, in the mammographic plates, um, it helps keep them in the same position.